This video will cover drag and drop changes on the graphical scheduling board or Gantt chart that you can see right now. The focus of this video will be centered around the order that you can see is highlighted here in red. And the start of our problem really starts here on our milling resource, which uh, although we require a milling resource, we also require two other resources at the same time. We needed an operator and a tool, in this case, which is called a jig, all at the same time. And all of those resources are finitely scheduled and constrained with their own calendars in Planet Together. And there's no limit to the number of resources that can be required on a given operation. From our milling step, you can see that the arrows indicate that we flow into the CNC1 machine, and the order turns orange at that point to indicate that we're still in trouble on that particular order. We're running behind schedule on the entire order, but the cause of our problems really begins in the first capacity bottleneck on our milling resource. And all the other jobs that we can see here on this particular view are in good shape because they're in a green color. So one real intuitive change that we can make is to drag and drop that particular uh, operation to a different resource and to a different time. So it makes sense that rather than starting this job here on Tuesday where it's running late, I could just go ahead and drag that over and drop it right anywhere I want in the schedule. I could even drop it in the middle of production on other jobs. So if I do that here, You'll see that Planet Together immediately reacts. It automatically schedules all of the resources that are required. It adjusts the existing schedule as well. So order JS06, which used to occupy that spot, is now pushed out in the schedule. So uh, dragging and dropping is intuitive. It obeys the realistic constraints on your resources and is a good way to uh, go ahead and make some adjustments to your schedule. Now, uh, you can always go ahead and undo any of your changes here. So if I come up to my undo menu, you can rewind the tape back as far as you want to go. I'll just undo that last change because you can do even better than dragging and dropping inside of Planet Together. You're able to optimize your resources. And just really quickly to show you how powerful that can be, if I go to my planning tab and optimize, what this will do is it'll evaluate all the best alternatives for materials and resources and illustrate those changes right here on the Gantt chart. So with a single click, in a matter of seconds, I don't have to worry about trying to find the best available resource. You can see that the optimization rules that I'm applying at this point in time use a much better logic that really loads the resources in the best possible way.